Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Cassidy, the hustler. And right now I'm on Breaking Records Radio. And if you need your record poop, you know where to go, man. Keep it locked. Easy. So, hey, yo, hey, yo. It's your boy Monster Man Rocco. It's your boy Swagger Rock. This is Snack Ripper. And hey, you have to go to Don't Know. Master A. You are not rocking with the best. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records, man. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records. Breaking Records. Breaking Records Radio. Let's go. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records, man. Radio is like the place to be. I don't know. Fuck strange music, man. <laughs> <laughs> Word, man, and um, so and you've been doing a lot of battles uh recently too, and vice versa. Like even with me working with producers, certain producers, um, you know what I mean? It just is never the same chemistry as with me and Swiss. Like if I was to just work with a different producer that might be hot at the time, yeah. But we don't have no type of chemistry or no relationship. It won't come out the same as if I work with Swiss, and that's the reason why I'm producing myself because nobody's gonna have a better chemistry than I have with my own self. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm in that bag, because I want to bring that feeling to the table. Yeah, that's a fact. And the other thing is, too, when you do it all yourself, then you got no one to blame but yourself. Like, things get done accordingly to how hard you work and on your time, you know what I mean? And, like, you know, you're not recording material, and then someone else, like, you know, having to wait on them or nothing. Like, everything is done as efficient as you are. So it's kind of always nice working on your own stuff, too. Because I produce my own shit, too, you know what I mean? So it's like... It's it's nice working kind of on that clock with yourself. Plus, I told you I don't do this for the for the success. I do it because I want to be the best. So it's nothing like the feeling of somebody like when you tell me that you feel Barry time, and I know that I didn't only just write a hundred percent of it. The whole idea, the whole direction, the flow, the transition of the clues is all me. But not just that, I produced it from scratch, and it's no sample. Yeah. So there's no help, there's no direction, it don't sound like no other beat on the radio. It's my own zone. And my own zone with the lyrics. Even the title is Barry Time. It's so personal. Like, you know what I'm saying? Everything is personal with that song. So when people like it and tell you that they like it, there's nothing like that feeling. It's a lot different than if you was just rapping on an instrumental or something like that. It's a completely different feeling when you put a whole record together on your own and and um people feel it no that's a fact man that's a fact and actually to, before we do move on actually too that's what, another thing i wanted to ask you but um who were some like who was your biggest inspiration as a producer to make you want to start producing or would that have been swiss probably well yeah um i would have to say uh swiss um is my biggest inspiration but it was other inspirations um, at different times, like uh, Neo, The Matrix, that's another producer that I've been working with since the beginning. Yep. He was an inspiration. Um, even like Vinyl, see a big producer right now, nominated for Grammys. He's working with Boy One Day and Drake and all of them right now. But he started off with me. If you look at his catalog, all of the first beats and the first music that he ever did was with me. Oh, shit. So um, I actually watched him grow. Um, and there's a lot of producers like that uh, that's working right now and that's big, that's down with other teams that's doing music for other artists, but they started with me. So I watched them grow. I even gave them um, input. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a big reason why they might even sound the way they sound. So, you know what I mean? I, I, I've been locked in and I've been inspired by different producers at different times in my life. So, um, there's no one one producer, you know what I'm saying? I take little bits and pieces from all of the producers I like. Yeah. Even producers that was producing before hip hop started, I get inspired from because I like all different types of music. Yeah. Yeah, and I think that's what makes a great artist too is uh, you you take a little bit of everything that you like. Facts. 